Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan channel. Things are starting to get a bit crazy in crypto. Bitcoin popped above $25,000 today for the first time in eight months. And now, at the time of recording this, it's plummeting on down. It's in the 23,000s. So, things happen fast in crypto. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that and what's going on. But it's also been interesting to see that uh, there's been a ton of money, especially over most of the past week, flowing into crypto, including on the institutional side. Um, so, you know, still, my personal suspicion could be wrong, but my personal suspicion is that the, the bottom's in. And it's much more likely to move to the to the upside from here, unless there's a wild card of it. And I always have that little caveat. But other than that, um, yeah. And it's interesting to see all the the chart analysts argue amongst each other because, <laughs> like, I'm not a chart guy. But I'm, I'm just saying, if you look at human behavior and on chain metrics, and you know, look, when you're considering where price is going to go, you don't only look at, at uh, technical analysis, or at least I don't. So I let the, it's fun to watch the, the chart guys argue that stuff out, but I'm looking at the, you know the, the the whole ball of wax, and I'm like, well, if you consider all these other factors, uh, it's it's probable that we're we're still going to be continuing to move to the upside rather than hitting another new low, you know, because there are doomsday sayers out there, you know, Bitcoin's going to twelve thousand or it's going to ten thousand dollars, and uh, I, it's not that I'm literally ruling that out. I mean, I never say never when it comes to crazy price action in crypto, but I'm talking about what's probable. Um, but uh, before going further, I do to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this, XRP is at $0.38. Cents. Uh, it did peak above $0.40 cents for a little bit as Bitcoin and the rest of the market was surging over the last 24 hours. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, let's get the 24-hour high here. Um, here we go, $25,228. So again, first time in eight months, Bitcoin popped above $25,000, but it's now almost $2,000 lower than that at 23,000, or the, no, sorry, I'm, I was looking at the 24 hour low. 24 hour low is 23,455 and it's currently 23,617. So, you know, crypto be volatile. So that part's not exactly necessarily surprising. I got the uh, market cap for the asset class a hair over under rather 1.1 trillion of Bitcoin dominance at 41.64 percent, and the crypto fear and greed index. I actually need to hit a uh, refresh because it updated after I opened this tab. So let's go ahead and check this out. Oh yeah, so it's at 61 out of 100, indicating the market's still in greed, down from 62 out of 100 yesterday. Um, and, and by the way, you know I would encourage you to do something. Uh, that I took the time to do the day I, today. I, I'd actually thought about doing this some time ago, and then I, then I didn't. But I created an Excel spreadsheet that calculates what my personal cryptocurrency holdings would be worth um, if we just get back to uh, previous all-time highs. Now, I'm not even talking about price discovery. I'm not talking about XRP uh, at like you know even five dollars or six or seven or eight dollars. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying just at XRP's all-time high. Of, of you know it was a little under four bucks, and I did that for every single cryptocurrency. So my Excel spreadsheet it has literal uh, the first column is every single crypto that I own. The next column is um, how much of each of those cryptos that I own. The next column after that, the third column is uh, okay, what's each one of those cryptos? Uh, what was the all time high for each one of those cryptos? And then the fourth column just does a quick calculation of what my personal holdings would be if it just got back to those levels. And I'll I'll just tell you this. If if all of my cryptos at the same time were magically back at all-time highs, it would basically be like winning the lottery for me. And I'm not even talking about price discovery here, so I think I've sufficiently positioned myself. I'd be up over um, over a thousand percent, a little over that, and it's something like an 11-fold increase for me. And, and, you know, fair enough, if some of you are thinking, uh, well, are all of those coins going to go to new all-time highs? Well, I'm not actually convinced necessarily that all of them will. I know that, you know, obviously when you have big moves, the market moves in tandem, and there is such a thing as alt season. But if you look at what happened in 2021, um, yeah, there are tons of cryptocurrencies that did hit new all-time highs. Unfortunately, XRP didn't. I, I blame the SEC for that one particularly. I think otherwise it would have hit a new all-time high. But there are also some smaller cap coins that are probably garbage and never going to be actually used for anything. And they did move to the upside. I checked a bunch of them. So like even the crap coins that I hold that I don't think are going to be worth anything if you fast forward a decade or two. Uh, there are a number of coins I hold even where, uh, you know, yes, they moved to the upside, but they didn't hit new all-time highs either. 
So I understand maybe some of those never do, but for me personally, since I invested most heavily in large cap coins and some mid cap coins, I only need a handful of those to go up. And so like, if you're talking about XRP, HBAR, Filecoin, Algorand, you know, just a, a several off the top of my head, what, those ones, are, are, are those not ever going to hit new all-time highs? Because even if just a handful of my biggest positions hold, that's that's still like winning the lottery. And so I just want to encourage you, if you, I don't know if you haven't done a calculation like this, it's worth it. It took me a little bit of time to put it down in a spreadsheet, but you might surprise yourself. And also I, I checked what my holdings are worth today. Actually, it was a good bit higher than I was, I was you know, kind of running a mental tap. Actually a good bit higher even today than what I was expecting. But, um, but, but yeah, the idea of, you know, some of these larger cap coins never seen new all-time highs, I think it's preposterous. I, I, I firmly believe that they're going to. So even just looking at that. But I also know it's true that I'm not going to be selling them right at the all-time high. I'm gonna, I will sell higher. Uh, you know, I don't need a crazy multiplier from that level. So I'm just looking at this and I'm just like, for me, it just looks like it's probably just a matter of time. But whatever you hold, I'm just saying, if you, if you haven't done this, this fun little exercise, if you do it, you might surprise yourself and be like, whoa, that would be a monster increase because we're at the, the depths of a, you know, of a bear market or, or heading out of it, whatever. And I think we've probably already seen the bottom. So anyway, I just thought it was an interesting uh, calculation and consideration because like, if you're like me and you believe that XRP is going to be here for the long haul and crypto general, is going to be here for the long haul. And I do firmly believe that then it's just like... <laughs> It's just interesting. I'll just say that. It's just an interesting exercise. Um, so there is also this uh, headline from Cointelegraph. Bitcoin single day price surge linked to billions in USDC inflows. Uh, Bitcoin hit a six month high of $24,800 on February 16th, registering a double digit surge of 15%. Now, let's pause and note, of course, again, it went higher after that, and now it's lower after that as well. But still interesting to see it, so check this out. Uh, the single day uh, Bitcoin price surge took many by surprise, given February has been historically bearish for the top cryptocurrency. Bitcoin's price rose by 1,820 in a single day, making it the biggest green day for the top cryptocurrency in six months. Uh, many people attributed the Bitcoin price surge to several factors, including a rise in dollar value and declining inflation. On-chain data indicates the current price momentum can be traced back to a mysterious fund that started pouring money into the crypto market on February 10th. And so as Paul's to note, uh, that's right around the time that we were seeing all that FUD having to do with the SEC and crypto. And, you know, it is a real concerted effort by various government agencies to actually, not just the SEC, uh, to take down crypto. But even so, look at what happened. Piece reads as follows. According to data from Look On Chain, nearly $1.6 billion in institutional funds have flowed into the crypto market over the past six days. Most of the $1.6 billion flowed from stablecoins, especially Circle-issued USD coin. The owner of the funds first withdrew their USDC from Circle and then sent it to various exchanges. Well, how about that? It's interesting to see how the institutional level players behave. I always think so. Um, so as, as far as whether or not we're at the, the bottom of a bear market, I wanted to share this perspective um, from Dan Moorhead. Dan Moorhead is the uh, CEO and founder of Pantera Capital, which was the first uh, Bitcoin hedge fund in the United States. It was a at least the crypto portion was launched, I believe, in 2013. And I'm a big fan of Dan Moorhead. I wish he'd say more stuff publicly about crypto, um, like more frequently. But um, when he does speak, I pay attention. And by the way, Dan Moorhead is pro XRP. And in the past, he has stated that he believes if you fast forward, you know, a good decade or so, that XRP will be one of the few cryptocurrencies that actually will survive because most cryptocurrencies are going to go away. And I'm paraphrasing, but that's the message that he was delivering. He specifically cited XRP as one of the cryptocurrencies that he firmly believes is going to be here. And I couldn't agree more. As long as XRP continues to be useful, I'll hold the position that XRP is going to not just persist, but be worth it, you know, way more in the future than it is today. Even though I don't make price predictions, I still firmly believe that. The only way I'd flip my mind is if adoption go starts going in the wrong direction. But, you know, in terms of actual usage of XRP, I've never seen that. I've been I've been in the XRP community and holding XRP for over half a decade. I've never seen it go the wrong direction. 
You know, other than, I mean, I mean, on the whole, I'm not saying that every single project has panned out. That's not what I'm, that's the point I'm trying to make. But just in, 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 if you look, you know, year over year, adoption is always way to the upside. And it's, it's increasing at a, you know, a notable pace. Even if you're just talking about like the most famously known use case, which I think would, it's fair to argue be Ripple's use case with XRP as a bridge currency, that the, the rate of adoption for that is increasing at an increasing pace. Well, that's something. Oh, and that's going to cease to exist. Yeah, I don't think so. I think as more people jump into crypto uh, and they diver- diversify, a, a, a good chunk of that's going to go straight into XRP. It's just simple supply and demand. XRP is a finite cryptocurrency. It is scarce. And substantially less than 1% of the humans on Earth have ever held it. And it already ran up five years ago to, uh, you know, almost $4 with almost nobody on the planet having ever held it. So then you, then you think, okay, what, what happens in a world where it's like way more people are, are seeking it, meaning demand higher. Well, you know what my bet is on that front. But anyway, so this article from the Daily Hoddle is titled, $4.1 billion crypto fund says bear market over new bull run on regardless of interest rates. Pantera Capital's Dan Moorhead and two investment associates think the crypto winter is over and has been for months. In a recent newsletter, Pantera argues the most recent crypto bear market ended on November 21st and lasted a total of 376 days, more than the median bear market length of 307 days. Yeah, so I'll pause to note, if the bottom has been hit, we don't technically know that for sure. Just like when the, in the previous market cycle, when Bitcoin's bottom was hit on December 15th of 2018, well... <laughs> There are people calling for Bitcoin, you know, because in the bottom, mind you, it was around 3200 bucks. There are people calling for $1,000 Bitcoin or $2,000 Bitcoin, way lower. That never happened, though. So in the days and weeks and months that followed, we didn't know for sure. But eventually it became undeniable as we kept going out, you know, coming out of, of the depths of that particular bear market and then ultimately ran to new highs. And and so this particular bear market it says 376 days over a year. Anyway, peace continues. Pantera's investment associate, um, Sahaj Singh, maybe I said that right? No, probably not. Whatever. I'm not good with names that are foreign to me. Uh, notes that Bitcoin was, uh, Bitcoin saw rather, a drawdown of 77% over that time compared to the median bear market amount of 73%. Quote, Pantera has been through 10 years of Bitcoin cycles and I've traded through 35 years of similar cycles. I believe that blockchain assets have seen the lows and that we're in the next bull market cycle, regardless of what happens in the interest rate sensitive asset classes. The decline from November 2021 to November 2022 uh, was the median of the typical cycle. This is the only bear market to more than completely wipe out the previous bull market. In this case, giving back 136% of the previous rally, end quote. Yeah, so that's already a little bit unprecedented as is. Interesting indeed. So, (laughs) again, no way to know for sure here, but that's why, again, like I said earlier today, I was just taking personal stock of what I have. I was pleasantly surprised to see what it's worth now. And what I hold, by the way, is worth substantially more than what I put in even though we're, we're still close to like the bottom of the bear market, even if we're out of the, the, the bear market. Um, so heavily suppressed prices compared to all-time highs right, right now. I'm still substantially up. But that just goes back to this, uh, you know, the, the adage of, you know, it's, it's time in the markets, not time in the markets. I've been in crypto for over half a decade. So that's why even when you have these massive drawdowns, I'm sitting pretty and I'm going to continue to hold. But then to recognize even just all-time highs, even if, if uh, XRP gets back to its, its all-time high of $3.84, according to CoinMarketCap, for example, even that and, and a handful of other my other top holdings just get back to all-time highs, just to know like that would be <laughs> already supremely life-changing. Like Because look, my jaw dropped. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. So after I put this, this uh, spreadsheet together, I was more than pleasantly surprised, really, to be honest with you. My jaw dropped. I was like, whoa, <laughs> because I recognize like, this is going to like this is going to happen. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I, I firmly believe like it's going to happen. Even if not every single coin I hold, because some of them are crap. Even if some of them don't hit those all-time highs, I don't need them to necessarily. I really don't. I hold I hold a bunch of different cryptos, uh, you know, close to thirty. So 
you know, I, I just what I focus on is the larger cap coins. Those are the ones that I believe are much more likely to uh, to, to hit new all time highs in a bull cycle where altcoins are popping off. So I don't know, just I encourage if you it takes a little bit of time to put the spreadsheet together, but I encourage you to because you might be surprised and have a similar jaw dropping experience. But to just to know, like even just all time highs, which is not where I'd sell. I mean, maybe I'd sell like a little bit, you know, perhaps. But, you know, the the bulk of where I'd be selling XRP, I mean, I mean, sure, maybe I'd start to sell some around, you know, four or five bucks, like a little bit. But but and, and then I would be out pretty early compared to what most like many people are thinking anyway, from what I've seen, I might be out, you know, closer to like seven bucks, which I think, it, you know, it's I don't know for sure if it's going to ever happen. But you know what my bet is? I, I think the answer is it's probably going to happen. <laughs> you know, I've made my bet. Uh, but so so for me, that's what I'm looking at. For me, it's, it's always been and that's why I put the amount of money that I put in. So I, I you know, I had more risk, more exposure to XRP. So I took on the additional risk. And I've been doing that for, I've been taking on that risk for over half a decade now. Um, but since I've done that, I don't need $10 XRP because I put more money in it in the first place. I don't need $20 XRP. I don't need $30 XRP. I need like $7 XRP. That was my calculation. And then I can remove that risk from my life and I win. That's it. So I did have to take more risk up front, but I can remove the exposure to the risk once we have, I, I think, a single rally, uh, you know, once there's a, a new all-time high and we enter price discovery. That's my suspicion anyway. So th that's the way that I'm looking at it. And that's how I treat a, a, a number of my holdings, really. It's just like, load them up so that you don't have to go through two different market cycles. Just You just need one burst to the upside. That's what that's what I seek to do with some of my, like, well, all of my larger holdings to say. But uh, I love being a crypto. Do you love crypto as much as me? <laughs> I love this stuff. And almost nobody knows this stuff. And almost nobody, even if they knew the, the stuff that you and I know, you know, would have the patience and the, you know, the, uh, you know, the ability to control their emotions so that they don't wreck the opportunity for themselves. But the idea of life-changing wealth in crypto, it's a very real thing. I don't think most people are going to achieve it because they're, they are their own worst enemy when it comes to buying and selling, getting in and out of positions and stuff like that. People just aren't sufficiently patient. But the opportunity's there, and that's incredibly empowering. There's never been a time like this in the history of my, mankind, and I, I'm going to get mine. That's it. I just, I am insistent. I'm going to, and it's great because I don't even have to work to do it. I already put the money in. I just have to do precisely nothing. How incredible is that? Holy hell, yes. Yes, please. I'll take that. I'll take two. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan.